Today's video is on ceruloplasmin level. We will discuss where ceruloplasmin level increases and where it decreases. This video will increase your knowledge about ceruloplasmin in 4 minutes. Ceruloplasmin is synthesized by hepatocytes, activated monocyte and macrophages as an acute phase protein. Physiologically, ceruloplasmin is a metal chelating protein that transports and delivers copper to tissues. Ceruloplasmin also plays an essential role in transport and metabolism of iron and consequently in erythropoiesis. It converts ferrous ion to ferric iron due its ferroxidase activity. Ceruloplasmin also exhibits bactericidal activity. Its ferroxidase activity reduces the availability of free iron, as a consequence limits bacterial growth. Ceruloplasmin exhibits relatively modest acute phase behavior. The plasma levels increase typically about a 50% in response to inflammation, trauma, or infection. The potent antioxidant, bactericidal and ferroxidase activities of ceruloplasmin suggests a possible anti-inflammatory function. lower than normal ceruloplasmin level may be due to long-term, chronic, liver disease, problem absorbing nutrients from food, intestinal malabsorption, and malnutrition, disorder in which cells in the body can absorb copper, but are unable to release it, that is Menkes syndrome, group of disorders that damage the kidneys, like nephrotic syndrome, and inherited disorder in which there is too much copper in the body's tissues, like Wilson disease. A higher than normal ceruloplasmin level may be due to acute and chronic infections, cancer, like lymphoma, heart disease, like cardiomyopathy, overactive thyroid. 